Two Russian vessels, suspected to be of the KS-701 tuna type, were hit in temporarily occupied Crimea on the night of 29 to 30 May as a result of a special operation by Defense Intelligence of Ukraine. The source said that Ukrainian Magura V-5 naval drones attacked the Russian vessels near the village of Kornomorsk in Yevpatoria district. To counteract, the enemy actively used aircraft, small arms and artillery, but to no avail, source added. The KS-701 boats are used by Russian security forces for operations and by Putin's oligarchs for fishing, earning them the nickname Putin Boats. The KS-701 Tuna is a diesel boat with an aluminum hull, designed for travel, patrolling, and recreational purposes, depending on the modification. It measures 8.8 .8 meters in length, and 2.5 meters in width, with a capacity of up to six people, including crew and passengers. These boats are mostly owned by Russian border guards and the Ministry of Emergency Situations. Produced by the Kostroma shipyard, the KS-701 features a distinct angular hull shape and a reverse slope windshield, which helps reduce glare on the water in sunny conditions. Poland allowed the armed forces of Ukraine to use weapons supplied by the Republic to strike targets on the territory of the Russian Federation. This statement was made by the Deputy Ministry of Defense of the State, Cesary Tomczyk, on the radio station Radio Z. There are no such restrictions on the Polish weapons that we supply to Ukraine, he said, speaking about the possibility of Ukrainian armed forces striking Russia with Polish weapons. Tomczyk added that Warsaw was preparing the 45th military aid package for Ukraine. According to his assessment, its total value over the past years amounted to $3.75 to $5 billion. Earlier, French President Emmanuel Macron announced the need to allow attacks on military targets on Russian territory. In turn, John Kirby, coordinator for strategic communications at the White House National Security Council, said that the United States of America does not support the desire of the Ukrainian authorities to use weapons supplied by the West to attack Russia. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg also supported Ukraine's position, emphasizing that the country has a full right to defend itself and can attack targets outside its borders. EU diplomacy chief Josep Borrell echoed this opinion, calling on EU member states not to put the fear of escalation above Ukraine's right to defense. At the same time, Belgian Prime Minister Alexander de Croo emphasized a different position at a joint conference with Volodymyr Zelensky. He said that military equipment supplied to Ukraine should be used only on its territory. Все, едем домой. Вроде все нормально. Thank <laughs> you.